Do you or anyone you know have a condition such as muscle joint aches, skin concerns, allergies, or high cholesterol? If so, consider that inflammation may be the problem and the liver may need support. Welcome to this episode of Step Into Health, supportive therapies for better outcomes with your host, holistic consultant and nurse practitioner, Deborah Reese. There are two types of inflammation, acute inflammation, This is a normal immune system response to injury or infection to promote healing. Chronic inflammation occurs when the body is under constant stressors, which may lead to a breakdown in the immune system. This can create an acid state causing more inflammation, pain, and other conditions. Interestingly, chronic inflammation often occurs in the gut and we may feel it as bloating, gas, or heartburn. So how does the liver connect with this inflammation and why is it so important? Well, the liver is more than a filtering system. It converts nutrients into active forms for our body to use. The liver has functions with blood sugar balance, hormone balance, clotting factors, allergies, and more. So when the body's under stress that leads to inflammation, then the liver cannot fully function and these connections can go out of balance and the outcome may manifest as symptoms or illness. What are some things that contribute to inflammation? Foods. Eating a diet high in processed foods, including white sugar and wheat, is inflammatory. Another culprit is artificial sweeteners, which may be linked to inflammatory conditions such as joint and muscle aches. Environment. There are over 3,000 chemicals intentionally added to our foods and 10,000 solvents and preservatives used in our food processing. There are chemicals on our lawns, our water, and so on. These are toxins that get into our system and are unable to be released quickly, thereby leading to inflammation. Lack of exercise. There's research on exercise and the benefits of releasing those feel-good hormones to help our body get in balance. A sedentary lifestyle can enhance inflammation. Stress. Stressful conditions and feelings like anxiety, depression, release substances in the body that can contribute to inflammation and thereby decreasing the immune system. What are some helpful remedies? Well, of course, healthy foods, exercise, and stress management techniques. But also consider probiotics. Studies show that probiotics, the good bacteria, help to block inflammation and strengthen the intestinal mucosa, otherwise known as the gut. Antioxidants. One study identified that people with high levels of antioxidants had a two to three fold decreased risk of diseases, including cancer and diabetes. Essential fatty acids, the omega 3s, prevent oxidation, which correlates with inflammation. In addition, the omegas can support heart health and the immune system. Enzymes help the body's absorption of food and nutrients. Genuine essential oils, such as thyme, basil, and peppermint act like anti-inflammatory agents. For more information, check out the link below to my website where you can read more on my blog as well as consider my ebook, Inflammation and Your Liver. Cool it down with essential oils. Thank you. Thank you for watching Step Into Health. For more great information, visit DebraReese.com. Also browse the other shows found right here at Toledo Biz TV Shows.